Hello and welcome back to New Labels Only. Today we have another watch unboxing and it is an unboxing from a new brand that we have we have not reviewed before and this is the brand Wish Do It. Uh, we have talked about the brand in the blog and again the link is in the description. So this is the packaging. Nice and neat, nothing too glamorous. And this is what's inside again. The brand is Wish Do It. So you get your warranty card and another box inside another inside there and this is the watch case pouch looks good and let's try to open it and you it opens like this okay you have your lens cleaner which do it emblem here Get nice and neat, and this is the watch. So we have nothing else inside the box, but pretty cool unboxing, pretty nice box as well. So let's put it on the side. And this is the watch. So the watch we have here is the Pirate Captain Kid Rose Gold. So I need to remove this for you to see the rose gold better. So this is the watch without the packaging. Again, this is the Pirate Captain Kid Rose Gold. Hopefully the camera is picking up the rose gold better because of the lighting. Maybe I should try and move the light this way. Hopefully this is picking it up better. Uh, let me bring back the light here. Show the side. Show the back. Strap, the buckle has been signed, the strap, and be closer again, the back casing, the side casing, and then the front bit. So wish to do it here, for about the jewels and the movement inside. The upper side, the indexes. We said we have two numbers. We have a nine here. I'm guessing we have a three here. Oh, no, we don't have a three. So it looks like we, oh, yeah, we do have a three. So a nine and a three. Then we have buttons around the index with a couple of arrows as well for the numbers. Sorry for the five minutes intervals. Uh, in terms of the watch we are looking at, so this watch is 42 millimeter. From here to here, that's 42 millimeter, and from here to here, we look at 50 millimeter. Millimeter, so 42 by 50 millimeter. In terms of the width, again, this is a thick case. This is 15.7 millimeter. Again, very thick case. But in terms of the casing, it has been made from 316 L stainless steel, as most watches. Uh, let me remove it. And inside, we have an automatic movement. Uh, we do not know what type of movement it is because it hasn't been specified on the website or anywhere else. We have tried to look at other reviews, but it does not say the automatic movement, that's exact model. But they do have a 21 joule and around 42 power, hour power reserve. So we're assuming it's either an entry level uh, Seiko model or a Miyota model. Oh, yeah, so we don't know too much about the, uh, the movement. All we know that it is a automatic movement. As you can see, it's automatic movement with three hands. We have your second, your hour, and your minute. So the hand does kind of get a bit lost at first when you're looking at the watch because of the, the features here the cross at the top and the bottom, or the butterfly, however you want to call it, and the other features inside the dial. Otherwise, it does look like a good looking watch. What we do like is this. That and that so the screws they left it open they left it blank which is pretty awesome so it's quite a, it gives a rugged looking watch so in terms of the glass it is a mineral crystal glass and the back casing as we said it is an open casing with a custom rotor and the design of it is fantastic as well hopefully the camera's picking it up but as you can see the custom the rotor is custom made with the design and different features. Automatic movement on the side, wish do it at the top, 
and the side it says waterproof it is a, this is a 5 ATM uh, watch so it wouldn't go anywhere with water with this watch except for a few, few splashes if you go underwater this watch will stop working and on the top it says say fashion watch and I'm guessing the 888 OBG is a watch reference in terms of the crown it is a huge crown and again you can see the design has been well made and it reflects this kind of reflects the back casing the design it does look good it has teeth cut design so it's easy to pull and push which is good so it is a good looking watch and again you probably have seen this type of watch before the higher end the Richard Mill watches and I'm guessing and this is more of an or this is more of a tribute to the watch and in terms of design they have done pretty well it is quite heavy watch uh, we're looking at uh, 115 gram so it is gonna weigh a bit on your wrist in terms of the strap we are looking at Florian uh, rubber so it's, it's soft, it's supple uh, it will suit, it will sit well on your wrist there are no quick release pins so if you want to change this strap it, you will have to go so I'm going to change it, but it won't be that easy to change you probably need the tools so let's see how the watch look on the wrist so this is the watch on my wrist as you all know by now I do have a small wrist my wrist uh, diameter or circumference sorry, my wrist circumference is 17 centimeters this is not the biggest wrist and I am losing the last hole of the strap it is it does sit comfortably it's not loose it's not gonna come out that easy and it's, it's very comfortable on the wrist uh, it is a huge <laughs> watch again 50 so sorry 42 by 50 millimeter for the casing it is a good looking watch lovely features the hands have been given luminous uh, touches to it so you will light up at night uh, which is fantastic or during the visibility the buckle has been signed and it does look good on the wrist it is quite big for me uh, as you can see on the side 15.4 sorry 15.7 millimeter in width that is quite huge for me given my small wrist so this is probably this watch specifically won't suit me because of my small wrist but in terms of comf comfort and visually it does look good the big crown does not get in the way of my wrist it's quite hidden which is fantastic uh, otherwise it's a good looking watch very comfortable watch very good looking watch we have done a full review of the watch and the link is going to be in the description you're going to test every aspect of this watch and see if this watch is worth the price and the price we're looking at is $469 uh, not sure what's that in pound or euros but we're going to put in the, uh, the blog review so this is the wish do it pirate captain kid rose gold watch and do read the full blog review and the link is going to be in the description so this is a Captain Kid, sorry, this is the Parrot Captain Kid Rose Gold Rib. Thank you for watching, see you next time.